Hi, my name is Cindy. I'm one of the CIT admin reps here. I'm going to go ahead and do your orientation with you. Um, I want to thank you in advance for completing our orientation form. Just ensure that you've completed all both sides here. Uh, you're, please make sure that your first and last name is definitely on there and is legible. So let's go ahead and get started. So everything on this board here consists of all the levels of programs that we do offer. Our very basic program is our level 100. Then we have our level 1, which is 110, um, and that is our heavy equipment. And then it goes all the way up to our mobile crane, which is our level 5 program. And we're definitely going to get in further detail with that shortly. Our level 100 is our truck driver. It is 8 to 16 weeks, and it does consist of 8 certifications in total. It's where you would actually obtain your truck driver uh, operator class A with endorsements, which are your doubles, triples, tankers, and your hazmat. Um, um, in addition to those, you will get your 40-hour OSHA hazardous waste site operations, your OSHA supervisor, your OSHA confined space, OSHA competent persons, forklift safety, dump truck driver, heavy equipment load and tie down for transport, which are, as you can see here in these images, are some of the trucks and whatnot that you'll get, you know, some hands-on training in our yard with as well. Um, in addition to those, you will get your 40-hour OSHA hazardous waste site operations, your OSHA supervisor, your OSHA confined space, OSHA competent persons, forklift safety, dump truck driver, heavy equipment load and tie down for transport, which are, as you can see here in these images, are some of the trucks and whatnot that you'll get, you know, some hands-on training in our yard with as well. Um, our level 105 is our class A with your passenger endorsement. With that one there, it's still a total of eight to 16 weeks. You're just gonna get one additional endorsement on top of that. Now this is our level one. Um, it's our level 110 is what we call it as well. It's still a total of eight to 16 weeks. What's included with that program is you're still gonna get everything in our level 100. Um, in addition to that, you're gonna get your certified backhoe operator your certified skid steer operator along with your skid steer attachments, which is your four-in-one combo bucket, your forklift, and your backhoe. Um, and as you can see in these images here are some of the equipment that you would get the hands-on training in as well. Then we have our level two. Now this one here, you're gonna see the higher the levels we go, the weeks are gonna change. So they do tend to grow a bit. So now our level two program is a total of nine to 18 weeks. You're gonna get 12 certifications in total, which includes our very basic program, our level one. In addition to those, you're gonna get your certified skip, uh, skip loader operator, your certified skip loader Gannon operator. Along with that, you have an option to obtain your equipment maintenance tech certification, which is also known as your field maintenance cert. And that is an optional thing to get um, and how you can obtain that is when you actually transition into the yard, um, your instructor for that day is going to go over the plan for the day. He or she may say, hey, sometime today I'm going to be doing some PM work on some of these vessels, trucks, or some of the machineries. And they're going to ask if anybody's willing to help. During that time, that's your opportunity to say, I would like to do so. The more you do that, we're going to go ahead and certify you in that. Okay? So that is an option for you to get. And as you can see, some of these pictures here in, these, in this binder consist of some of the equipment that you would get the hands-on experience with in the yard as well. Now this is our level three program. This one is a total of 10 to 20 weeks. You're gonna get a total of 13 certifications, which consist of our level 100, our basic program, our level one, our level two. In addition to those, you're gonna get your excavator operator. And as you can see in these images here, this is the experience you would get hands-on in, in the yard with. So this is our level four program. This program is a total of 11 to 20 weeks. Now on this level, you're gonna get a total of 14 certifications, which include our very basic program again, which is our level 100, our level one, our level two, and our level three. Now in addition to those, you're gonna obtain either your certified dozer, or track loader, or articulating loader, or road grader operator. Now the reason why you do see the word or in there is yes, we do own some of these vessels, but a lot of times we do rent those that we actually don't own. And 
one or the other may be available at the time. So you may not be certified on all four of them, but you will definitely get a certification in either or, okay? Now, as you can see in these images, these are some of the vessels that we do rent or we may have on site, and you may get the hands-on experience with. Now, this is our level five program. It's a total of 12 to 20 weeks. You get a total of 17 certifications in this level, which again consists of our level 100, our level one, our level two, three, and four. Now, in addition to those, you're gonna obtain your mobile crane operator, your rough terrain crane operator, and your crane oil rigger signaler. Now, you have an option to obtain your 18th certification. Now, that is actually a program that you have to qualify for. Now, in order to qualify for the advanced crane training option, which is also known as our scholarship uh, program, you have to be uh, the stellar, a stellar student, meaning you have to be here on time, do what is required of you, get good percentages in the yard and on your exams and behind the wheel. Now, if you do, and actually um, have great communication with us, because that is one of the key things with our program here, is calling us, letting us know if you will be in, uh, if you're running late, um, things in that nature. Um, if you do qualify for the program, we will send you to do the NCCCO uh, crane program, which is an additional four weeks of training. Now with that there, that is a program that you actually would not have to pay for. It is solely paid for by our school here, which is a great option and no other program here, no other program that you could see would offer anything like that. Um, so as you can see on these images are some of the the cranes that we do have in our yard and you would get maybe some hands-on experience with, with all of those or one or the other. Our next step is we're going to go over our illegal substance um, documentation. Now this is a requirement for us to go over with any prospective student that is interested in going through our program here. Now um, in the attachments that you see here on our site you're going to come across a form that says have you smoked marijuana in the last 60 days. Now please follow along with me. It says, while it may be legal in California, it is not legal under federal regulations. All Class A drivers, including student drivers, must comply with federal law. You will be drug tested under federal regulations within the first two weeks of school. Then you must submit to random, reasonable suspicion, post-accident, and follow-up testing while a student and in your future career as a heavy equipment operator driver due to safety sensitive designations. Now if you flip that document over, it does give you a formal breakdown and more in legal terms. If you could take some time, go ahead and review that. Once you're comfortable with that, go ahead and sign, print, and date that. Next, we're gonna go over our locations, class schedule uh, with, uh, with you right now. So our locations, our classroom and offices are here in Bellflower. Our hands-on location is in the city of Long Beach, which is about seven miles from our location here. So classes start every other Monday. For instance, if class started this Monday, it's not going to start the following, but the following week after that. Um, for the first two weeks, you're going to be in the classroom Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We do ask that starting from the beginning, you do have your availability starting at 7 a.m. And I'll go over the reason why shortly. Now, classroom training is going to consist of preparing you to obtain your DMV permit along with your endorsements uh, to get an understanding of truck and heavy equipment safety modules required before you begin the hands-on training. Now, your third week, students begin hands-on training in the yard. Now, that is Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 3.30. Now, that's why we do require you to have the availability from the beginning from 7 a.m. Also. Uh, I know it does state 3.30, but we ask that you have the availability till 4 p.m. Reason being is sometimes class can run a little bit longer, or you may need to come back to the office here and maybe have a meeting, watch a video, or do an additional exam. Um, now in the yard, you're actually going to learn your air brake and your pre-trip inspections, participate in hands-on trucking and heavy equipment. On Fridays, you're actually not going to be in the yard. You're going to be here in the classroom from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And that's where you're going to focus on all of your videos, which are, depending on the level of program, can be your trucking videos, your heavy equipment, crane videos, your OSHA modules, and your safety videos. Now, Friday is a very important day as well. We also have some potential employers that do come out and do presentations. 
um, they will let you know a little bit more about their com company, their perks, their benefits, things in that nature. There are times where you may have potential employment opportunities through them, depending on the interaction that you do have with them. Uh, there are times, depending on what type of questions you may ask or your inquiries about it, that may pique their interest and they may talk to you after the um, presentation. So again, we provide as many opportunities of, uh, possible for you to find some sort of employment. Now, our ultimate goal is really for you to obtain your Class A license, your heavy equipment certifications, and your OSHA certifications. So now I'm going to go ahead and pass you over to my coworker, Art. Now we're going to go over the work source list. What exactly is a work source? A work source is a government funded program that will go ahead and fund you up to level one. How do I go ahead and utilize this? First, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the steps to obtain one of these work source lists. You're going to go ahead and click on the link below, careeronestop.org. Once you're there, you're going to go to the left side of the, of the screen there, and you're going to go ahead and hit the search field. Type in your zip code and press search. Then, a list of work sources corresponding to your zip code will go ahead and pop up. Now that you have the appropriate work source list in front of you, you're going to go ahead and go through that work source and notice that the top work source is nearest to you. You're going to go ahead and call that work source and see if they have funding available. How do I go about that exactly? You're going to get on the phone, you're going to say, hey, how you doing? My name is so-and-so and I'm looking for funding to become a heavy equipment operator. Well, thank you for sitting here with us today. It was a pleasure speaking with you. Uh, that concludes our orientation. Hope to see you here at CIT. Take care and have a great day. Bye.